If you own a 1953 Washington Quarter, it's time to grab a magnifying glass and examine the date closely. Spotting die doubling on the digits could potentially make it worth hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. One such quarter, a 1953 double die obverse, was graded PR68 Deep Cameo by PCGS, marking it as extremely rare in this condition. This superb gem, one of only six known at this grade level, features pronounced doubling across the date, motto, and designer's initials. The flawless strike and untoned surfaces provide a striking white-on-black contrast. This exceptional piece fetched $11,162.50 at a Heritage Auctions event. Could you believe that a 1998 Lincoln cent fetched an impressive sale price of $1,260 at Heritage Auctions? This particular coin, graded MS69 by the Professional Coin Grading Service, stands out due to its nearly perfect condition. An MS69 grade signifies that this uncirculated scent is a superb gem, practically at the pinnacle of numismatic perfection, free from any distractions or significant contact marks. For context, the highest possible grade in coin grading is MS70, a standard that business strike coins almost never meet. Although the 1998 P. Lincoln cent boasts a production of over 5 billion, making it quite common, finding one in MS64 condition or lower in circulation is relatively straightforward. However, coins in MS68 or higher are rare, and those in MS69 are exceptionally unusual, with PCGS having certified just nine such specimens. Here's a 1939 Jefferson nickel that's not just any coin. It features doubled die elements on the reverse, making it a special find. Known among collectors as the doubled Monticello, this nickel showcases pronounced doubling on the Monticello and five cents text. This variety is highly prized as noted in the Cherry Picker's Guide due to the distinctness of the doubling, its listing in the annual guidebook, and its rarity. The obverse of the coin is brilliantly unmarked, while the reverse boasts subtle golden accents. The entire coin is enveloped in scintillating luster, enhancing its pristine surfaces. Graded MS67, this superb gem with exceptional eye appeal was sold for $3,540. It wasn't until the last quarter of 1923 that the San Francisco Mint needed to mint new cents, having depleted their existing stock. The majority of the 1923S cents were struck using worn dies, resulting in coins with incomplete or distorted details. While the mint mark on some of these coins is shallow, this issue isn't as pronounced as it was with the 1921S cents. Finding any of these cents in full, original red color is extraordinarily rare, with such specimens typically exhibiting a more brassy than coppery hue, possibly accompanied by wood grain toning streaks due to an incomplete mix of the alloy. Well-worn examples became common, partly due to extensive hoarding that began in 1935 with the advent of coin boards and continued until these coins largely vanished from circulation by 1960. A MS-65 red gem from this batch, approved by CAC for its rarity, fetched $45,600 at auction. This proof 1968S Roosevelt dime complete with its bold San Francisco S mint mark above the date uh, was sold for $104.62, including the buyer's fee, at a great collections auction. Contrary to what some might assume, this isn't one of the highly sought-after 1968 dimes missing a mint mark. What significantly enhances its value above mere face value is that it is an error coin with a double die obverse. A close inspection reveals a strong spread on the features liberty, in God we trust, and the date. If you ever come across such doubling on the obverse lettering, it's advisable to have the coin graded. Over time, such a distinctive error could appreciably increase in value. This exceptional bicentennial Eisenhower dollar is among the finest known from its mintage of 21.04 million coins. It stands out for its exceptional preservation, a notable feat given its considerable size. Each side of the coin gleams with a faint golden iridescence, enhancing the silky and satiny luster that envelops it. The coin is boldly defined, with visible traces of dye polishing around the obverse devices, adding to its allure. In 1976, the United States celebrated its bicentennial by issuing special reverses for the quarter, half dollar, and dollar, each bearing the dual date 1776-1976. 
the Eisenhower dollar featured the Liberty Bell superimposed over a representation of the moon, a design meant to encapsulate both historical and contemporary achievements. Two distinct hub styles were employed across more than 100 million coins produced in this theme. The type one is characterized by large flat letters, while the two sports thinner, more angular letters. Despite the widespread production, the 1976D Eisenhower dollars, especially those meant for circulation, were generally not well crafted and were often prone to damage. This particular coin, however, managed to escape such fate and was sold for $5,520 at a Stax Bowers auction, highlighting its rarity and pristine condition. Here's a rare find, a 1965 Washington Quarter struck on the wrong planchette. Although the U.S. Mint ceased the production of 90% silver quarters in 1964, a few leftover silver blanks must have lingered in the, in the mint bins or hoppers, only to be inadvertently used in 1965. This particular quarter circulated for some time before a sharp-eyed collector recognized its uniqueness and secured this rare piece. Despite its journey through circulation, this quarter exhibits only light wear and features a delicate overlay of soft gray toning, enhancing its appeal. It has been graded AU50 by PCGS, a testament to its relatively high condition, despite its age and history. This intriguing error coin, a testament to a minting mishap from the transitional period of U.S. coinage, fetched $7,200 at a Stax Bowers auction, a price that reflects its scarcity and the intriguing story it represents. As we wrap up our exploration of these rare and valuable U.S. coins, I hope you've found the stories behind each piece as fascinating as their hefty auction tags. If you enjoyed this journey through some of the most intriguing numismatic treasures, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with fellow coin enthusiasts. Your comments are always welcome, so let us know which coin caught your eye or if there's a particular piece you'd like us to dive into next time. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more insights into the world of rare coins. God willing, see you in the next video.